Hello friends, in the previous session, we have started with our solutions to the problem of commutation and I told you that there are basically three solutions. One is the brush shifting, next is the interpoles and then it is the compensating Wendy. So in the previous session, we have started and concluded with the brush shifting method. And I told you the method was not very effective basically because first the armature, the, sorry, the magnetic neutral shift is a load dependent process. And then the direction of shifting depends upon whether the motor it is work the machine is working as a motor or a generator. And then I told you when the brush is shifted, there is a aggravation of the flux weakening effect, which is already present due to the armature reaction. So, and that method was not very effective because somebody had to continuously change it. Okay, so we had taken the example of Rahul, and Rahul had had to continuously do that. So basically the pro solution should be in such a way so that it is built into the machine. All right. So this particular solution that is the interpole solution which is written here. The solution of using an interpole is basically a constructional feature of the DC machine. Okay. So it is basically constructed. So there is no more requirement of any Rahul or anybody to shift the brushes or nothing. The brushes will be at this particular position. The brushes will be at this particular position only and then we are going to do something with respect to the construction all right so what is the basic theory of this usage of this interpole okay so now i have drawn this diagram again we have seen this hundreds of times the same diagram okay so the machine is rotating in the counterclockwise direction and i have told you under the no load condition the magnetic neutral plane is exactly perpendicular to the plane of the uh, magnet that is the field direction so this is the field direction phi m and therefore the magnetic neutral plane is exactly perpendicular to phi m and these two conductors here, this conductor here and this particular conductor here, they have no induced DMF in this particular condition. All right. So now when you load the machine, I have told you for the generator, it is the magnetic neutral shift will be in the direction of rotation, right? So this would be the new magnetic neutral plane. Okay. So this is the new magnetic neutral plane, magnetic neutral plane new. So what would happen is that the conductors here, EMF would be zero, all right. But you have connected the brushes here, and they will have an and these conductors will have an EMF, right? These conductors will have an EMF because the magnetic neutral plane has shifted. So the conductors will have a particular direction of current here. So it will be in this case, it will be a cross here and a dot here, all right. And, and these brushes are connected and the conductors are getting short circuited and that is the basic theory of problem of commutation. All right. So what can we do to prevent this parking? This causes parking, right? The short circuited path here causes parking. What can we do to prevent this parking? What we can do is that due to this magnetic neutral shift and all these armature reaction and LDA by DT, etc. There is an EMF induced in this particular conductor. This conductor and this conductor are having EMFs. So what if we can produce a counter EMF so that the EMFs caused by the armature reaction and LDI by DT are cancelled and therefore effectively the EMF in this particular conductor and this particular conductor would be zero. In that case, the brushes would not have any sparking. Okay, I hope you understand. So if this is the EMF in one conductor and this is the EMF in the next conductor, what about we can produce a counter EMF like this counter EMF. So this is the counter EMF. This is the counter EMF and this is also the counter EMF and therefore in net the EMF would be zero. What if we can do something like that and that is basically the solution which is provided by the interpoles. All right. So let me just uh, write down a little bit of points here. So basically the theory is that if the voltage in the wires undergoing commutation Okay, undergoing commutation. I am writing it down so that uh, you can also take it down in your notebook or somewhere. Can be made zero. Can be made zero. There will be no sparking. There will be no sparking in the brushes. So this is the basic theory. So this is the basic theory. Okay. Okay. So what do we do for this now? What we do is that we place small poles just like your north and south pole here. You can see your north pole and your south pole here. Similarly, we will keep small poles 
over the conductors that are going to undergo commutation that are going to undergo commutation so what does that statement mean okay undergo commutation so what we do is that we make a small pole here okay and we make a small pole here and when the conductor is rotating because of this particular pole because of this particular pole it would get a counter emf on this conductor here and because of this particular pole it would get a counter emf on this particular conductor let us just draw this diagram once again so that we can understand more about this particular process all right okay friends i have drawn this diagram once again here so now let us see that in the no load condition the magnetic neutral plane is this straight line let us load the machine so that the magnetic neutral plane shifts somewhere like this all right so this is going to be the new magnetic neutral plane so this is my magnetic neutral plane new in the earlier case this emf was zero because it was placed under the magnetic neutral plane but now what would happen this particular emf would be zero all right now we are talking about the generator now and what about the other conductor the earlier conductor now now this particular conductor because the magnetic neutral plane shifted here so see now here you are having the old magnetic neutral plane all right this is your old magnetic neutral plane so half of this and half of this are coming under north and south all right but now here your half is splitted like this so half of here and half of here you have to think like that so what would happen to this particular conductor it would be still in the effect of the south pole due to this armature reaction because of this cross magnetizing effect of the armature reaction and the lda by dt voltages this would still induce an emf as if it is it was in the south pole okay so in the south pole it is having a cross so this would induce a cross and this would induce a dot and this particular axis the emf would be equal to zero because that is the new magnetic neutral plane okay so now how to cancel this particular emf so clearly if this is the cross here i should have a dot here to cancel the emf right and this is the dot here in that conductor i should have a cross here okay so now remember that we are taking a generator's case and what i have told you we will keep a pole here okay small pole and we'll keep a small pole here such that when the conductor passes through this particular pole this particular pole it would induce a outward emf here and an inward emf here okay so what should be the polarity we have to see okay so what should be the polarity now the question is what is the polarity that we have to use to induce this particular emf of dot polarity in the top conductor and this particular polarity of cross in the uh, bottom conductor so we have to find what is the polarity that we have to use okay so now what do we know the polarity is such polarity should be in such a way that when the conductor is moving in the counter clockwise direction the emf should be outward so let us look at it more closely so we know that this is the emf that we need okay and we know that the velocity vector is in this direction okay so usually what do we know so let me take e due to the interpole should be proportional to v cross b of the interpole usually this is the situation right you know what is v you know what is b and we find out what is e but in this case you already know what is the interpole what is the voltage in the conductor that you require due to the interpole okay so we are deciding the polarity now so there are only two possibilities here one b should be in the top or b should be in the bottom so let's just check that now so if b was in the top v cross b b would give me a clockwise rotation and therefore that means the emf would be in a cross fashion but i want in a dot fashion so b should not be in the top b should be in the bottom b should go from top to bottom in this direction up top to bottom all right so this should be the direction of b so v cross b counter clockwise emf will be a dot so if i connect b in such a way that this is going to have a downward direction i will get a interpole voltage like this which will cancel this particular voltage and will give me zero flux okay <coughs> now so what kind of polarity north or south will give that let us see that you know that the north polarity always the field comes out of the north and then moves to the south so in this also here it should come like this and go to some south polarity so here you should have a north polarity okay on the similar lines this particular interpole should have the south polarity now what is the important conclusion that we can make here all right let us see what is the conclusion if somebody asks you 
what should be the interpolar polarity to be fixed how to identify for a generator you can clearly see because the rotation is from this direction to this direction counter clockwise the interpole is always having the polarity of the upcoming pole all right upcoming pole is the north for this particular conductor the upcoming pole is the north therefore that particular conductor will have the interpole as north okay so the generator the interpole polarity is always the upcoming pole polarity okay it's easy to remember all right so the interpole polarity for a generator will be always for a particular conductor in a generator will be always the upcoming pole in a motor's case the incoming polar the interpole polarity will be always the previous pole all right that is easy to understand here for this particular current direction this would be the rotation of the motor that we have discussed earlier because <clears throat> this i is coming out and b is in this direction therefore i cross b would be a having a force like this therefore if the same motor with the same current configuration is connected as a motor if the same machine is connected as a motor the direction would be a clockwise direction okay and in that case the interpole polarity would be the same so that is the previous pole okay so in the generator the interpole polarity is always the upcoming pole and for the motor the interpolar interpole polarity is always the previous pole okay now basically this is not a complete solution because the interpole polarity the interpoles can only cancel the spa sparking at the brushes it is the only solution that can provide but still the flux weakening effect will be there remember the flux weakening we studied during the armature reaction that is still going to be there exist because the flux weakening is happening in this area the flux weakening happens or the flux addition happens in the pole tips the interpole is not going to have any effect on the pole tips and it should be like that because the interpole should not disturb the working of the machine it should only concentrate on these conductors here it should only concentrate on these conductors so what to do if you want a complete solution to cancel the sparking at the brushes and also to reduce the flux weakening that is where the third solution comes and that will be the next topic which is the compensating winding i hope you have understand understood today's particular session i would like you to go through this particular session two or three times to get that understanding of this understanding of the concept properly in case you have any doubts please put it in the comments below and if you like this video please press the like button share this video and i'll see you in the next lecture thank you